Everyone, I am here with Seth, and Seth is the CEO of Avergon Marketing, and they are a brand and marketing strategy firm. Seth specifically, he's working as a fractional CMO and as a CEO advisor. So I brought Seth in today to talk about mood boards, and more specifically, when it comes to mood boards, how they stimulate and move your brand forward. So Seth, I know you're excited to chat about this one, so take it away. I am because I don't think a lot of people know much about mood boards or how they play into the mix uh, and how instrumental they can be, especially when I'm working with a client who kind of sort of knows what they want, but not exactly right They're They're, they're, they're most of the way there. So for those who aren't up to a mood board is created by someone like yourself um, to help stimulate thought and direction around a brand. So this is funny. This is interesting because usually we create the strategy first, right? We write the strategy. We think up our audiences, primary, secondary, tertiary audiences, unique selling proposition. Why to buy that product or service versus another. And then we come up with messaging pillars, what we're going to say. But sometimes uh, before we go any farther, we'll bring in a mood board. And the mood board once the, the messaging pillars will be partially done, but we haven't gotten to copy yet. So messaging pillars are exactly that, pillars, right? They're mm -hmm. not exact copy, but they're kind of a framework that we start with. So the mood board comes in and says, hey, based on what you've told me, this is you, you know, you're going to reflect on what, what we've given you. Based on what you've told me about your, your audiences and your unique selling proposition and those pillars, here's the kind of mood I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. And it's imagery. And it's imagery sometimes is as simple as stuff... You know, you may create it, you may find uh, clip art, you may use whatever to create that mood board. And all of a sudden, now we're kind of going, wow, what does our brand really want to feel like? You know, we, we, we've, been, we've been up here with strategy and pillars, but what do we really want it to feel like? And that mood board will very often inform what we do next, right? Mm -hmm. What is the specific messaging going to be? What are the specific kind of images we're really going to want to use for those ads and or test? Let's say we're running a digital campaign. I might want three or four different types of ads, different takes on, on, on the product or service just to see what attracts the audience most easily, what gets them to move forward. Uh, we often have what's called a call to action. That call to action can be, okay, um, I'm going to download this. I'm going to give you my name and phone number so you can reach out to me. That's a conversion, right? They've gone from being this anonymous looker, visitor, site visitor, to all of a sudden someone who is self-identified so we can market them. They become, they become what's called an MQL, marketing qualified lead, where I can actually do things with them. But that mood board, uh, more often than not, I have seen actually inform brand decisions, right? Sure, it's starting here, but all of a sudden it's becoming real. It's like, ooh, okay, we're going to go with that type of emotion. The mood board will speak to emotion. Mm, okay, maybe we're going to put together a whole photo shoot, right? Actors, mo actors, models, sets, the whole thing. That mood board is key in that because that's going to start us down the path. And instead, instead of thinking, okay, we're going to do this thing over here on the beach and you might show me something in an intimate restaurant setting. I'm like, wait a second. This really works better for what we want to do here. And that started with your mood board. That started with you showing an example of something and us going, okay, I know we had this idea before, but wow, this would be really cool. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So if anyone wants to learn more about this, pick your brain or just <laughs> chat with you, honestly, just chatting with you is fun too. How can they get in touch with you? Uh, two ways you can reach me. First way is on my website, avergonmarketing.com. Uh, Avergon, A-V-E-R-G-O-N. So avergonmarketing.com. Or I am the only Seth Avergon on LinkedIn. So easy to find me there. The picture even looks like me. That's usually a win. So <laughs> kudos. A win. Good imagery, right? It actually looks like me. There you go. All right. Thanks so much, Seth. Thank you.